Hello, welcome to videos by Damios1976. I hope to help new players and veteran players alike with information that I have gathered through my playtime over all of the different Fallout series, as well as Fallout 76. Hope you enjoy. Town High School. Uh, this is a great spot for plastic. Um, a lot of people don't know about this or they don't think to come here because it's so low level uh it's a great spot for for actually grinding plastic experience um ammunition weapons to to sell and or salvage down um and just to show what exactly and how much i'm gonna get i will show you my current situation weapons one weapon my apparel aid miscellaneous hollow notes junk is empty as you can see Mods, my ammo is just my shotgun shells. Okay? So, we're gonna get into this. Okay, so I entered the main doors, as you can see. I didn't, haven't cleared anything out, I haven't cleared any enemies out, and I'm gonna loot everything. Just to show you exactly what I get. Except for the burnt books, because you can't do anything with that. Now, what you find and get from here may be slightly different. Maybe a little bit better, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Uh, somebody else has already been here, however, because the baseball bat is missing from that spot. And I'm not going to take pumpkins because they weigh a lot. Although, there are pumpkins here. Plastic pumpkins, great for plastic. Um, like I said, I'm just looting everything, and I will show at the end what I got for junk and so on and so forth. So, bear with me, or should I just skip to the end? Uh, I'll just probably skip to the end. Make it easier, less babbling. Um, but as you can see, the, the monsters in here, enemies in here, level 6, and I'm level 30. So, they pretty much cap out at level 6 in here. I'm getting 15 experience per kill. They're scorched. Um, it's always scorched in here. I didn't think you could. Uh, I wasn't sure. I figured I'd try. Walk across the edge. And you can hear the Scorch doing their freaking moaning, groaning thing. It's kind of annoying, actually. But. Chair, coffee cup, dinner trays, coffee pot, coffee cup. And like I said, you might have more or less out of this than I get. Um, depending on how thorough you are, how much you look around. Um. I'm not sure if uh, having a higher intelligence will actually let you loot or get more out of the um, basic junk that you pick up or not. I know it does affect a little bit on weapons. But again, this place is probably the best low-level plastic farm you can find. Um, it's rather large. It's got some desk fans for screws. A safe that I can't unlock because I don't have a high enough pick skill, so there's probably something in there that you might be able to get if you have a high enough pick skill. It's a level two. Uh, I can... Can I unlock the terminal? I don't know. Let's find out. No. Yes, I do have hacker level one. Okay, so we'll go to hacker level one. Zero likeness for that one. So it won't be that one. Uh, could be that one. There we go. Look at that. Bam. Safe control. Disengage lock. Lock is open on the safe. Nice. Stem pack, pre one money reader arm. Bah. Nothing special. Oh, yep. Somebody's dead. No, wait. I killed that guy. Never mind. I was gonna say, somebody's definitely been here because there's a. Pile, but nope, 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 that was me. And like I said, I'm looting everything that I can see. I mean, obviously, I might skip a couple things here or there. Ow! Hey. 
What was that? That was a sucker punch. It hit me and run away. Also, I do have my Pip-Boy light on so they can see me a little bit better. That might be why they're just rushing into attack. If you're doing this without your Pip-Boy light on and sneaking, they might not find you as easily or as fast. Um, so that's up to you how you want to do that. which I believe are aluminum. Canned dog food, which is great for the good doggy perk. Tend to find a lot of canned dog food and good doggy allows you to get a much better uh, food ability off of each canned dog food versus the normal, I think it's only 15% without it, you get like 75% or 50%. Now again, take your time and read some of the, the letters and the terminals and, and hollows that you find. That that all adds to the richness of the game. I mean, this is... I'm just trying to zip through this relatively quick so I can find the plastic and show everybody that there's a lot of plastic in here. As well as the gears and screws and springs. Seeing me from downstairs and shooting at me from the hole. <laughs> Office fan. Blast radius board game. Oh, yeah, I'm going to that too. Why not? And guess what you get from skulls and such? Bones. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, nothing else in here that I. Oh, first aid kit. I have Pharma Pharma, so I get a little bonus from it when I search. Not always, but often. Um, there's Sometimes there's stuff up on top of the locker, so it's good to check there, too. Uh, you don't have to get too, like, too up on top, but... Teddy bear. Oh, pepper mill. See, I'm missing things and catching them as I'm coming through. <laughs> Cooking oil. Come out this door here. Into what appears to be a library of some sort, maybe? And like I said, I'm not taking the burnt books or burnt magazines, because those go into your miscellaneous folder and they only sell for one cap each. They're kind of useless. At least at the moment. Uh, I believe it was actually in 4 where you could turn in burnt books for caps at a library machine or something like that. I don't remember, it's been a while. Um, telephone. Desk man. Another first aid kit. See, that time I didn't get anything. We got a covert op ma magazine. Burnt textbook, 10 millimeter pistol. Coca-Cola bottle. Like I said, I'm looting everything, even though I normally wouldn't if I was looking just for plastic or and or aluminum, I'd be I'd have just those tagged and that's all I'd be picking up. Uh, so it can it can be as quick or as long as you want to make it. 
but like I said, I'm grabbing everything so I can show what all is in here, at least for me, this time through. It might be different next time. So for now, we're going to take a small little break while I do this, so I don't have to keep recording. Be back in a bit. Okay, so I finished the scouring of Morgantown High School, and I came out to the Red Rocket gas station right across the street from it, because there is an armor station as well as a stash on the inside. So since I am overweight, or was overweight before I scrapped, or after I scrapped everything, before I scrapped everything, uh, I decided to come here and just drop stuff in the stash once I'm done. Uh, had a couple of little enemies on the way out. Just gonna scrap their stuff real quick. And as you can see, I'm gonna go stand in front of this dash, which that's my stuff that I've already dropped there as well. Um, just some notes and some rotted food. Uh, but now we're gonna open my inventory. Weapons. I have a frag mine, a Molotov cocktail, and a bunch of other weapons that I've already destroyed. Um, I picked up a whole bunch of aid items uh, with the uh, Pharma Pharma and Can Do and whatnot. I found a lot, as you can see. I only had four or five items in there when I first started. Um, so there's that. Miscellaneous. Uh, I don't think I found anything except for an extra principal's office key and a principal safe key. I had those already, and I got one more of each at going through. Um, no hollows. Notes. I found two two notes in there. Well, two plans. A plan and a recipe, and two regular notes. There might have been more. I'm not sure. Um, as for junk, here's all the different junk I found. And like I said, I was, I was trying to focus on the plastic, which, I mean, loose screws. 29 loose screws in there. 21 loose springs. 14 loose gears. Molded plastic. 156. Okay, that that is quite incredible. 156 for one quick run through of Morgantown High School. At the beginning, I showed I had nothing in my junk box, so this all came from that one run through Morgantown High School. Okay, gears, screws, springs, and plastic—all items that people look for all the time. 14, 29, 21, 156. You may get more if you have a higher intelligence, um, and I'm not 100% sure. But look at all of this stuff. This is all from one run through. 185 steel, some wood, um, glass. It's incredible. That's one run through. So now if I server hop and go through it again, I'm going to get at least another 150 plastic. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. So that brings me to 300, 300 plastic in under an hour. So, I mean... I highly suggest exploring places before uh, asking where to find this, that, and the other thing. Um, because people will just do what I just did. It takes a half hour to an hour. I got some decent experience. I uh, got some ammo, as you can see. Not a lot. Uh, the enemies in there had a lot of shotgun stuff, so it just added to my shotgun shells. Um, but yeah. Um, it's, crazy. it's crazy what I found in there. But yeah. In closing, I mean, Morgantown High School, best place, in my opinion, to run through for plastic. A lot of people say the uh, other high schools are good as well. I don't find as much in there, but Morgantown, definitely a lot. Um, I'm going to go explore probably the other high school up here. Um, nope, I can't even remember where it is now. Maybe I haven't even explored it yet. Uh, the Grafton High School. That's around here somewhere. Um, so I'll probably go check that out. Um, and if there's anything worthwhile there, I'll make another video. Until then, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And uh, have yourself a great day. Please give me a like and subscribe. Thank you.